Okay, you have set up your Microsoft 365 account, created your email accounts or users, and now you want to move your email history over the new mailboxes. So, what's next? How can you do this? My name is Carlos, and today I will explain how to migrate or move your email history over the new mailboxes in Microsoft 365. You may find different answers or options to accomplish this task. For example, if you use Microsoft Outlook, you could export your emails to a PST file and then import it back to Microsoft 365. By the way, if you want to follow this option step by step, here there is a video where I explain how to do it. Now, this option could work well if you have to move one or maybe just a few mailboxes. But if you have to repeat this process for multiple users or mailboxes, this could be very time consuming. Also, be aware that you will need to do this from every user's computers. On the other hand, Microsoft 365 offers a special tool that allows you to migrate multiple mailboxes at the same time in an easy way. And here I will tell you how to use this tool. Before jumping into our computer, let me tell you what you will need to complete the migration. First, you will need users' email passwords. The server where you will be migrating will need to accept IMAP connection. Most of the email services allow you this type of connection. Then you will need the IMAP server information, incoming server name, port, and type of encryption. If you are unsure about this, Think about the email settings that you use to configure your email accounts on your devices. You can also contact your current email provider and ask for this information. Keep in mind that you will be able to migrate emails from all the email accounts. For example, if you have an email account called info at your domain.com and you want to move it over an email account called carlos at your domain.com, the migration tool will allow you to do this as well. As part of the steps, you will need to create a TXT file with the list of email addresses and passwords. I will show you here how to create it. And finally, you will also need admin role to access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and the Exchange Admin Center as well. Let's now jump into our computer and see the process. First, we will need to access our Microsoft 365 account using our browser. As we said before, we will need admin role so we can access Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We will find this icon here. We click on there. Let's have a look to the users that we will be migrating. In this account, we only have one licensed user, which is here. It has already the license Microsoft 365 Business Basic, and we are going to migrate emails for this user. Then we click on Show All, and we will access the Exchange Admin Center. We have it here. Click on Exchange. Microsoft is currently moving or migrating to a modern Exchange Admin Center. However, the migration tool is not available here yet. So we need to access the classic Exchange Admin Center, which we will find it here. So we click on Classic Exchange Admin Center. Under Recipient, we are going to find here Migration. From here, we will be able to create different migration batches. In this case, we will only create one, which will be used to migrate the single user that we have in this account. So we need to click on the plus sign and then click on Migrate to Exchange Online. We will have here different options to migrate emails. The first three options are to migrate emails from another Exchange server. This option over here, IMAP Migration, is the one that we will use. This option can be used to migrate emails to Microsoft 365 from any email server that support IMAP. There is also this option here, the last one, which is to migrate emails from Google Workspace. By the way, 
you can also migrate from Google Workspace using IMAP migration because Google Workspace support IMAP. So then we need to click on next. In this step, we will need to select a file that will contain the emails and passwords for all the users that we are going to migrate. If we want to learn about the TXT file that we need to create, we can click here on learn more. In this case, I will show you how this file should be created. In my case, I'm going to use Notepad, which is a Windows tool. We click here, Note, Notepad, and we open our editor. The file that we need to create is very simple. We need to have this header, which is email address, comma, username, comma, password. And then on the next lines, we need to add the different email addresses or users that we will migrate. In this case, the email address is the username within Microsoft 365. The username will be the email address where we are migrating from, and then the password that correspond to this username. If we need to migrate multiple users, we will be adding as many lines as users as we need. Once we have completed our file, we just click on Save. This file can also be created on Excel. We will use the same header. In the first column, we will use email address. The second column will be username. And the third column will be the password. Then we will complete the information for every user. And when we save this file on Excel, we will need to save it as a comment separated values, CSV as we can see it here. We can minimize this, and then we can select the file or choose the file. Our file is here. We call it ITB underscore migration one, and click open. The file has been selected, and then we click on next. In this step, we need to enter the name of the server where we are migrating from. In our case, our server is called mail.itb.cloud. The type of authentication is basic. This server doesn't have an encryption, so we select none. But if our server has SSL or DLS, we can select it here. And the port for our case will be 143. We now click on next, then we click on next. We can give a name to the migration batch. It could be any name and then we can click on Next. When the migration is complete, Microsoft 365 can send us a report or a notification that the migration is complete. We can browse on the different users within Microsoft 365. In this case, we have one share mailbox and the user that we are migrating. In my case, I want to be notified in a different email address, so I can type it here. Click on Check Names and then click OK. So we have completed the information to start the migration. We click on new, and then we have this message here that all the information has been submitted, has been saved successfully, and we can click OK. See, we hit the batch that is actually running. We can see the status syncing. And after a while, all the emails will be moved from the old email server to Microsoft 365. If you have created share mailboxes within Microsoft 365, you will also be able to use this tool to migrate emails to those share mailboxes. The process could take several hours, depending on the number of emails that we are migrating. When the migration is complete, you will receive an email. And of course, you can also access the Exchange Admin Center. You can highlight the, the batch and then you click on View Details and you will see details about the status of the migration. Once the migration is complete, you will find all your emails and folders within your account in Microsoft 365. With this, we conclude our video today about migrating to Microsoft 365. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it easily in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.